The designers laid an incredible foundation for the Fall 2007 collections. Now let's take a look back at the Week in Review. Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week is the single most important fashion event, hosting only the top designers' collections all under one roof. Tell me about this week, when you rewind the chaos and the craziness and the runway. Any highlights that you want to tell me about? For me, it's just the whole week becomes a highlight. The starting point, really, for the collection this season was me. The girl makes the magic. The person makes the magic. I make schmatos. The only mistake is trying to be somebody you're not. But you can become somebody that you want to become. I saw you with the first lady the other day. I'm an oddity in this industry. How? Well, I'm a Republican. It was, we're, we're doing Mrs. Al Gore's dress for the, uh, the Oscars, so... Not anymore, you're not. So, it's the tour of the Wizard of Oz this year. Oh yeah, we're totally gonna follow the yellow road and find Dorothy, kill a witch, and have a good time. I try to take the idea of what's appropriate for a couture client and just offer something a little bit more intellectually stimulating while not taking her into theatrics. What made you foresee that we would be so fashion obsessed? We just tried to stay focused and just grow with that movement. Lots of people who do the red carpet have made fashion the obsession in the world. Joan Rivers, she's the first one who did the red carpet and said, what are you wearing? Do you always, when you go to a collection, try and wear the designer to the collection? I think you should. I think it's, it's a courtesy. They're all very nice. If you like them enough to buy their clothes, how stupid is it they're in a rival's outfit? Now, tell me the difference. In the front. Now, if they give you a rotten seat, fuck them. You put on everybody else's clothes but theirs. You know, sometimes what you don't see is a lot more sexy than what you do see. And I think that uh, that mystery is important in the chemistry of sexual attraction. Clothes, in many ways, make people feel sexy. Is there an age where people stop being sexy? God forbid, I'm 78. How do I look? Really hot. <laughs> Delightful, gorgeous, and fabulous legged Sarah Burns. <laughs> <laughs> the great dressed orange coat is wonderful. Do you have pieces in your closet that are go-to pieces? Absolutely. What are those pieces? I have um, fat pieces, middle pieces, and thin pieces. <laughs> Hello. Is it possible to sit here, see the collection, and not order anything? Mm, that's real hard. That's real hard. If you weren't doing what you do, what other creative expressions would there be? Would you ever be a fashion designer? No, I'd probably be a photographer. What is it that you appreciate and love about fashion in the industry? It's always been very important for New York, and the way they've done it, especially recently, is something special. And I think if I get them into a better location, frankly, it'll be that much better. Fern, I have great space for you. There's no real estate more valuable than a front row seat at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week right here in New York City. While all the fashion happens right here on the runway, the real excitement that happens backstage. Do you get nervous when you're on the runway? Um, not when I'm on the runway, it's more backstage, I get more nervous. I never go on the runway unless it's for charity. I haven't been on the runway in years. Richie and Trevor call you and say, more please, and you yeah, say. Yeah, do you want to do it? And I said, do you think I should do it? Well, yeah, you should do it. Really, I should do it? Well, Naomi did it. Really, Naomi did that? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Peer pressure. What is it about those designers that they always come up with something new you feel you must have? There's nothing perfect about beauty. And when you perfect beauty, you sacrifice charm. It's become a serious competitive business with the young girls now because you're starting at 15. You're doing five shows a day. That's a lot of work for a 15 year old. I mean, where were you when you were 15? You were not doing runways. We're backstage at John Bartlett with America's newest model, Sean O'Pride. So tell me a little about how you were discovered. Don't. Nowadays, in the internet, you can pretty much find out everything. I mean, you can be here in the fashion tents and see everything within 24 hours of it happening. Log on, look at all the different styles that are going on, the different colors, and just take that red that we're seeing a lot on the runways and infuse it a little bit into your wardrobe. Or maybe you already have red, so pull it back out again. It's a great time to be a woman because you can express yourself. 
you know, I think what we're seeing a lot this week is sort of a real return to elegance and sort of old Hollywood glamour. You know, I think we saw that at Marc Jacobs, a lot of it here at Michael Kors. Just about being really simple, really basic, but really dressed up and really pulled together. Fashion's about joy to me. It's about dressing up and having a good time. From the runways in Bryant Park, we thank you for joining us for Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week New York and the best of the Fall 2007 collections. And remember to join us throughout the year for IMG fashion events from around the world.